lesson we're going to be looking at another type of market failure, one in which there is asymmetric information in a market. We'll see how the existence of information asymmetry can lead to an inefficient allocation of resources towards the production or consumption of a particular good. Let's revisit our definition of market failure here. A market failure exists when the provision of a good by the free market takes place at a level that is greater than or less than the socially optimal level. We have learned in previous lessons that the socially optimal level of output in a particular market occurs where the marginal social benefit, in other words the benefits to all members of society, are equal to the marginal social cost or the costs to all members of society. In previous lessons we've learned how the existence of positive and negative externalities and public goods results in market failures, where the good or service is either over or under provided by the free market, or in the case of public goods, not provided at all. Information asymmetry is a little bit different than these other types of market failure. It has not to do with the externalities associated with the goods production or consumption, rather the information that the buyers and the sellers know about the good when they provide it to the other party in the marketplace. Information asymmetry can be defined as a situation that exists whenever the buyer or the seller in a market has some information that the other does not. We'll talk about a couple examples in this lesson of information asymmetry and illustrate in diagrams how its existence can result in an overallocation of resources towards a particular good. We'll look at two different scenarios. We'll look at both a product market where the buyers are consumers and the sellers are firms and we'll look at a resource market in which the buyers are firms looking to employ a particular type of labor and the sellers are households who are looking to supply their labor in exchange for wage incomes. I'm going to use a real world example for my product market here because recently there has been a perfect example of information asymmetry in the news that has led to a misallocation of resources towards a particular good. By this point you have most likely now heard the story of Volkswagen and their diesel automobiles. So the market we're going to look at here is the market for VW diesels. So what happened in this situation? We know that Volkswagen VW cheated on emissions tests. This led consumers to believe that their cars were more environmentally friendly than they actually were. As a result of this asymmetric information, Volkswagen itself knew that these cars were far more harmful to the environment than consumers did. The demand, which represents the marginal private benefit among VW consumers for these automobiles with asymmetric information, was greater than it would have been if buyers had correct information about these cars. But because of the higher demand for Volkswagen cars due to the false information that Volkswagen was providing its consumers, more VW diesels were bought and sold at a higher price than what was actually socially optimal. The asymmetry of information between Volkswagen and all of its customers regarding the environmental impact of their diesel automobiles resulted in more people wanting to buy these cars than what was actually socially optimal. We'll graph this in a moment below. So down here in our diagram we're going to graph the existence of a market failure in the market for VW diesels. In our vertical axis we can put the price of VW diesels and on our horizontal axis we can put the quantities demanded and supplied. Let's draw a supply curve for diesels and we'll assume that this supply curve represents the marginal social cost of Volkswagen diesel cars. Now we're going to draw two demand curves though. We're going to show the marginal private benefit or D1 which will be the marginal private benefit that existed with asymmetric information. Notice that with the false information about the vehicle's emissions, demand for VW diesel cars was relatively high, meaning that the quantity in the market, we'll call this Q1, and the price in the market was determined by marginal private benefit and marginal social cost. But once we learned that in fact these diesel vehicles were quite horrible for the environment and that emissions were much higher than they were actually reporting, what we 
realized about this market was that in fact had information been symmetrical between Volkswagen and its customers we would have had a lower level of demand we can see the, the demand for VW diesels based on symmetric information would have been D2 this represents the marginal social benefit of Volkswagen diesels with symmetric information so now we can see the market failure that existed in the market for Volkswagen diesels due to the information asymmetry between Volkswagen and its customers a quantity of cars was sold of Q1 whereas the socially optimal quantity of cars would have been much lower at QSO at Q1 the marginal social benefit of Volkswagen diesels was found right here this is the marginal social benefit but the cost imposed on society was much higher at the MSC curve up here at the price so we have a situation in which the marginal social cost is greater than the marginal social benefit so resources were over allocated towards diesel cars we can say that too many cars were sold the effect that this has on total welfare in the market is quite easy to see now in fact it looks a lot like a negative externality of consumption diagram we have a loss of total welfare equal to this whole triangle this yellow triangle represents the loss of welfare among consumers who bought a car that they believed was more environmentally friendly than it actually was this is our welfare loss with more perfect information about the real environmental impact of these cars demand would have been lower and a more socially optimal number of cars would have been purchased and driven so the existence of asymmetric information in the product market of Volkswagen automobiles led to an over allocation of resources towards these cars here we go